Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to tonight's event, courtesy of Bergeon. Tonight's event is an outstanding contribution from some huge talents in the room. Not me, they're behind me and in the corner. Um, and so I'm going to explain to you what's going to happen tonight. My name is Geraldine and I'm your host for this evening. I'd like to welcome you all, each and every one of you. I know that some of you have had a theta healing and I hope that your practitioners gave you a fine example of what's possible with theta and the releases that you can have to let go of the stuff that doesn't hurt you and sort out the life that has got you stuck and to also to receive pure unconditional love and to get a sense of your future and have some certainty to it. So I know that a lot of healings have occurred and so the energy in this room is very good. I'd like to just for a moment draw your attention to the fact that you might have that thing in your bag or your pocket that vibrates. If you're not talking about a phone, I can tell by the smiles on your faces. <laughs> but if you have got a phone, please check that it is switched off because what we're about to have, you do not want to disturb. I'd also like to just remind you that we're in the Columbia Hotel on the first floor. We are not expecting a drill as you would expect fire drills happen in the week, in the day. However, if it does go off, the door's behind you and you can get out this door here and you just want to go down the stairs to the first floor. If you go down through that way, you'll go straight out to the uh, car park at the front. Um, you'll know which way to go because you just need to follow my tail. So we are looking forward to a wonderful evening. We have some phenomenal um, situations with people that are going to give you real experiences that you may or may not have encountered before. But I want to tell you, as someone who has been through some of this before, it will last. So you will take it out of this room and you will take it into your lives. And then what you do with it is dependent on you. But we certainly hope you capitalise on it. So we're very grateful to Anna Kitney, who's brought this evening together. These events are a huge uh, organisational piece and they always go down very, very well. So welcome to the newcomers and it's lovely to see familiar faces. Tonight we are going to have an evening of Nadine Benjamin, who is our soprano. Nadine is working um, both as in theatre, so she understands this modality, but her singing voice is outstanding. And she's in lots of um, well-known uh, productions that you would know and understand. But she's come tonight to share her gift with you. And I know that that will help you because she'll open up this evening, but she'll also close it down. So I sincerely hope you can stay to the end. We anticipate finishing at 10. Behind me also, I have Tim and Aaron who have played for the Dalai Lama. So we are in good company. And they are going to take you through the sound vibrations of a gong meditation. And um, what will happen is that Tim will take you through the meditation to start with to ease you into it and then the gongs will come through and we would just encourage you to just relax and let go okay just allow that uh, energy to wash over you that vibration because actually what will happen is your body will resonate and you will receive that which you're meant to receive so just trust and go with the flow you're in a perfectly uh, sacred space to receive that energy and we would encourage you then to take it with you outside of the room and just resonate with it as time goes on so that it's much more lasting than just this evening. We would also encourage you as well to find ways to receive it on a regular basis because I want to say to you that actually I've been going through this over the last three months and each month there's an accumulated effect. Okay, so they might get very booked up. Um, I'm then going to uh, bring forward Anna, Anna Kitney, who's going to do a wonderful meditation for you and there'll be some sound to back it up and to support it as well to maintain that vibrational change in your shift of energy and to heighten your awareness and to be mindful of the fact that we're here to connect your mind, body and spirit. So really how you feel is perfect. If you feel anxiety, it's perfect. If you feel joy, it's perfect. But the idea is to work through it all and just trust the process. And then we are blessed to have Nadine to come back to conclude the evening. And so we're really going to have a very well-rounded event. And we hope that you thoroughly enjoy it. We have a lot of people here who will help and support you. And so if you need anything, just raise your hand and we'll come and assist. We'll bring you water if you need it. And we'll take care of you this evening. So just rest assured that we're here to look after you. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Thank you very much. Hi. 
I'm really excited to be here this evening, um, having done the basic and the advanced course in the Theta Healing and having had this wonderful method brought to us by Anna just really touch my life and my soul. And um, it's really um, allowed my voice and my journey with my voice to grow and to reach more people in the world. So tonight I'm going to sing you a song uh, called Io Son, or an aria I should say, called Io Son, Leo, Io Son Lumile Angela, which means I am the humble servant of the Creator. I give my words and I give my heart and I give this to the hearts of men and women and when I pass, somebody else will take it on. My name is Tim Wheeler, this is Aaron Vaughan, and we've got this section where we're going to uh, share some more music with you. I mean, how divine that was. I was, went up to the stars just now. Thank you so much. That was be very beautiful. The way the human voice works, the instrument that we're all born with. Well, tonight maybe, could we maybe spend five minutes together and just explore our voices? I, I know a way to do this so simply, so easily, and get you vibrating. <coughs> And indeed, every cell and bit of energy in your body will be enhanced and feel really quite magnificent. So, just five minutes. Trust me, it's a beautiful thing to do. Please, if you would, take a deep breath in through the nose, deep down into the belly. I'm going to ask you to release this through the mouth. You let it go like a yawn, a groan, a sigh. Ha! Ah, you just get used to really opening this wide. It's quite a good little exercise. Please, another breath through the nose, if you would, deep down into the belly. You're letting that go. Ah! 
and the clue to all that is in the letting that go. We hold many of our emotional memories up here on the jaw, and this just gives you a chance just to free that up and just be, be at ease, so to speak. Please take one more breath if you would. You letting that go too? Ah. And then finally, I'm going to ask you to do a little gentle breath in, but I'm going to first of all explain in our language the ancient word for breath, the very life force at this minute that you are imbibing. In our language, it is called spiritus. So that's actually what you're breathing in, the spirit. To, uh, and indeed, when you have collective, we have um, people and persons here. Person is, is a person of sound, a being of sound. So what we're going to explore in the next few minutes as we make sound together is you're going to, have, I think, come to an understanding of how rather we've been so inspired by that beautiful singing just now that how we are all, every one of us, born with the most incredible healing instrument, which is our voice, but we're not always encouraged to use it. I'm going to get a little instrument. Um, so this is called a shruti box. It just provides a little drone. That's all it's going to do. It's not going to change. So you just hear this constant call all the way through. Now what I'm going to encourage you to do is, you're going to take a breath, just take one of you with me. Take a breath in. Just let that go. Ah. Now I'm going to ask you to take another one, and this time, I'm just going to ask you just to hum, if you can, that note, or an approximate note to it. Please, it's not about us becoming some perfect choir. Everybody is welcome here. We do this completely as one family, as one tribe. You are completely safe. No one is ever singled out. I say this for the reason that in the West, maybe 50% of people are shamed around using their voice. There's some reason why they haven't been encouraged to explore this incredible healing instrument that we're born with. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, if you so choose, and it is always a matter of willingness, you can so choose to dynamite any core negative belief you hold around your beautiful singing voice. Please take one breath in. You're opening wide, dropping the jaw, please let that go. Ah. If you would do the same again, please, breath in. Really letting it go. Ah. And then just our third one is a gentle breath in. Like a sigh. Ah. Now I'm going to ask you just to take a breath just like that again, and this time go. Do the same again, please. Breath in. If I could ask you to do it a third time, this take, take a free hand. Maybe think a tip on your throat as you make this sound the next time, please. Breath in. creating acting like a sonic massage within your body, changing 100% of your cells, affecting your digestion, your respiration, your blood pressure, and indeed the left and the right hemispheres of the brain acting like a bridge between these two beautiful elements of our being. Please take another breath in. Let it go if you would. Ah. And that brings me to, there's a beautiful sound that we can make, very similar to that, and you're doing all wonderfully. Ah, and the ah is the heart opening sound. Now I can't use both hands, but may I suggest you put a hand or two on your heart. And here we're just making a sound quite softly. It literally is ah, as you spell it, A-H-H. -H. Breath in, if you would, please. Now, can we go down? If I went to turn this down to that mode, see if some of you can do it. Please, if you feel more comfortable, stay where you are. All and everyone is welcome. Please breath in. And we're going to go back up to the high note again, and it's lovely you're touching your heart because this is where you can just bring serenity of grace of beauty of gentleness and tenderness to your heart through your voice this is where you love yourself with this beautiful sound that you are creating 
activating breath in the ease. Gorgeous. Thank you. Breath in. Big breath, please. If you just let that go. Ah. Wonderful. I could just teach you a very simple mantra, a little chant, Tibetan mantra, Om. Mani Padme Hum. Om Mani Padme Hum. It translates as... The jewel of the lotus resides within my heart. You're sort of basically saying an affirmation such as all consciousness in life are within me, which of course is basically the heart. Just let it go gently. Gorgeous. If you do one more, please. Gently. Wonderful, thank you. It's a really simple mantra. It's literally three notes at the most. Just show you once. It's so simple. Get it and then please do it again. But just do five, six rounds of it. you a way that I do, it's a particularly odd way actually, but I start on a slightly lower note and I scoop the sound up to the, what they call the key notes, the home note here. Um, I try, always try to remember to enunciate, that is pronounce the word really clearly, but bring your mouth to a closure at the end of the arms and you thus retain the sacred vibration within the body. It's, uh, as I said, starting on a low note and I'm scooping up, it's almost like a, imagine a trombone slide, that's something we call a glissando. You know, sliding up. So on this instance, with the arm, I'm going to show you once, if I may, I'm taking breath of the nose deep into the belly, I'm going to go... Please, three together, breath in. sound, energy, and vibrations into your body. It's a very beautiful moment of healing, but it can get even better. I'm going to ask you, please, if you could rub the palms of your hands together. You're going to bring healing heat to the palms of your hands. And then, when you feel ready, please place them over your eyes, mirrors to your soul, where it goes darker, but you are safe. And just for that moment, you go deep within. You feel that stillness. And then in 
even turn, it gets even better as I ask you to drop them down and they cross over your heart and your chest. You feel that this healing heat that you have created imbibing itself into your heart center. This is where you're kind to yourself. You're tender and loving to yourself. And from there, obviously, you can spring more to love the world so much more potently. Please, in your own time, drop the hands. They drop down. Just relax. One breath together, if you would. Deep back in, please. You're letting that go. Ah. So we are about to now play for you. You've done everything you need to do. Thank you so much. Did you feel better for doing that? Are you going to oh, sorry. You sounded great, I have to say. So I'm glad, I'm glad we, we worked together on that. It's a mar marvelous thing to do. And just remember, you can do that at any point. It's a, a fantastic tools to have. There's no, you know, nothing special about them whatsoever. Now we're going to give you, uh, it's probably about half an hour, of a deep sound healing journey using our gongs and various other instruments. We were talking earlier to us, particularly Nadine, our beautiful singer and, and other people, who were just we were so enthusiastic about the potency of sound. We were remarking how, to a degree, hopefully the way we can present sound and you can experience sound goes beyond the realms of just entertainment, which of course music quite rightly is. But you, you, you step into this, this, this realm where sound becomes this functional art of healing and of transformation. Indeed, it has the capacity to take you back to the very core and essence of who you are and from whence you came. Now, it's a big cosmic, but I'm going to explain one thing. It's my understanding at the moment, this is a, let's take a minute because I'm not going to turn this into a workshop. It's my understanding at the moment that the scientists can potentially heal human DNA using frequency. And this is a scientific um, experiment being conducted in laboratories at the moment. And they use a particular frequency. Do you happen to have it, Aaron? Yeah, it's marvelous. It's 528 vibrations per second. Usually you call that 528 hertz, it's vibrations. Within the field that we work in, it comes from a series of notes called the solfege. Don't know if anybody's ever sung it. Or you see the sound of music, do, re, mi, fa, etc. This is the note fa. That's actually, it's the note mi, isn't it? Actually, having said that, um, and the mi stands for miracle in this context. It also the five to eight has a connection to the heart. It's known as the love frequency, as well as the miracle frequency. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is the very tuning and sound that seemingly that connects to all of us, all seven and a half billion of us on the planet. Now to summarize and finalize this in 30 seconds, when you speed sound up and you increase the capacity of sound and speed and velocity, it has the capacity to become light. This is what the ancients, our great ancestors and forefathers understood. So many of the great temples, such as Newgrange in Ireland, there's a pyramid in Malta, or even the king's chamber in Egypt, they are acoustically tuned to actually create light when you create a certain frequency. So sound becomes light. We in turn, ladies and gentlemen, all, I say again, all seven and a half billion of us on this planet are beings, therefore, of sound and light. We are vibratory beings. So all the work we do together to share is so fantastic, to take us in to this higher frequency. And this is what we're going to share with you now. Enough words. Thank you so much. You've been great. It's almost so about the art of listening and you've been magnificent for that. So please, nothing more to do. We just suggest you get comfortable, feel free if you want to watch, otherwise close your eyes. Allow yourself to journey, because you can go quite deep with this, as you will see and experience. One final breath together, if you would, please, just to join us. <coughs> You're letting that go. Ah. Ah.
Thank you.
inside your shoes, just get a sense of your body returning your connection grounded to this group or connected to the other. Bongs were tuned to Mother Earth beneath us. It's 57 octaves below, but it's the very frequency of Mother Earth traveling at 800 miles at this moment the cosmos. And now we're sitting down. I can't more, more breath I can breathe. Can you let me go? Right. 